Billions of dollars worth of Russian assets are burning in midair because of a unique air defense system that'll help Ukraine shoot down 99% of airborne threats with incredible accuracy. An upgraded version of this complex can simultaneously fire a rapid-fire cannon, supersonic missiles, and a powerful laser. With the press of a button, the installation turns into a command center that can connect to the best air defense systems in the world, such as NASM's or the Patriot. Want to know more about this unique weapon? Then let's go! Germany sending Skynex anti-aircraft artillery systems to Ukraine Although there's only one enemy system that can compete with it in terms of power, there's no guarantee of that. The futuristic appearance of Skynex looks like something straight out of a Star Wars movie. Its capabilities make this a truly fantastic weapon, especially considering that it's a very new development. The Rhine Metal Company introduced the system in November 2021, so Ukraine will finally be receiving the most advanced weaponry. Skynex is a short-range air defense system similar to Germany's self-propelled units like the Gepard. But what makes this weapon so exceptional? It also has a role against attack helicopters, very low flying aircraft, and a secondary role against ground targets. The ammunition fired is a 35mm ammunition which is widely used by the GDF series of anti-aircraft guns. Skynex's main armament consists of a 35mm or like an MK3 automatic cannon, which is capable of shooting down any airborne target at a range of 13,000 feet and can fire a thousand rounds per minute. Just imagine, 16 deadly projectiles per second! In the blink of an eye, an enemy plane could be turned into a hunk of metal riddled with holes. Let's imagine that an enemy fighter is taken off from an airfield in Belgorod and is headed towards Kharkov. Considering that the nearest support point is located near the village of Kudievka, this fighter would be shot down at the border with Russia, and it would only take Skynex 8 seconds, 4 to aim and 4 for the projectiles to reach their target. Among the enemy's defense systems, only one can compare with Skynex, but it can't match all of its capabilities. We're talking about the Panzer S-1, a self-propelled anti-aircraft missile and gun complex. It's identical to Skynex in its purpose and is used for protecting civilian and military targets from air attacks. But the Panzer's advantage is that it can also destroy ground equipment. The deployment time for the complex is up to 5 minutes, while Skynex is always ready for battle. It only has to lock onto the target and start shooting. The Panzer S-1 carries 1,400 rounds of ammunition, while the Skynex carries 2,600, nearly twice as much. Plus, Skynex's bullets have programmable detonators, so even if it doesn't land a direct hit on the target, shrapnel fragments will shred it to pieces. The main round, in fact, is a 35mm ahead. Both systems have an attack range of 2 miles. As we can see, the Panzer system loses to the Skynex in terms of ammunition volume and deployment speed, which are incredibly important in modern warfare. Just one second too long and an enemy fighter jet could reduce your complex to rubble, just as a lack of ammunition would leave you completely helpless against aviation. However, the Panzer makes up for this with a 12-round rocket launcher that can strike targets up to 9 miles away. Of course, the enemy system seems to be stronger in this regard, but let's remember that other defense systems like the NASMs and the Patriot can work together with Skynex. Patriot system is a, uh, a point defense weapon system that's used to defend uh, critical assets against tactical ballistic missile threats and air breathing threats. The Patriot's capable of detecting targets at a distance of 250 miles and shooting down supersonic fighters. In fact, it can still defend the skies even when half of it has been destroyed. The system can detect and identify over 100 airborne targets at once, from which up to 8 can be selected for continuous tracking and targeting. Once the targets have been precisely identified, the operator presses the launch button, sending rockets towards the enemy at a supersonic speed of 7,200 feet per second. Not only are they carrying weapons, but they are also a reconnaissance system, so they are the eyes and ears of many countries. I think there's no doubt that the Russian Panzer will lose. This complex is also older than the Skynex, having been released in 2012, with no new upgrades since then while the German development has been given an incredibly cool upgrade. 
This latest version is called the Sky Ranger, and it's a weapon of the future. Instead of a standard gun, it has a dual machine gun. I don't think anyone would doubt the awesomeness of doubling one's attack power. During testing, the Sky Ranger was able to shoot down an entire swarm of drones with just one salvo. And that was just the beginning. The upgraded complex not only came with a dual gun, but also a missile launcher that can shoot down targets up to 12 miles away, even if they're supersonic. Both the missiles and the gun are guided by a set of radars, video cameras, laser rangefinders, and infrared sensors, which can track targets 360 degrees around themselves. And finally, the icing on the cake? The latest addition to the Sky Ranger set are high-energy laser weapons with their own sensors. As you see, the mount is very similar to the 35mm, and there's lots of commonalities there. One is a gun, and one is a laser. This laser emits a devastating 40 kilowatt beam that can automatically target and neutralize its targets. The best targets for the laser are pesky drones whose electronics can easily go up in flames. According to Rheinmetall, their next goal is to increase the beam's power to 100 kilowatts, which would not only provide the Sky Ranger with a huge attack radius, but also with practically unlimited laser shots at a cost of around a dollar per second. At the moment, the Orlikan high-energy laser gun is at the prototype stage, but it's rapidly being developed, and in a few years' time, I think you'll see it ready for production and potentially enter service. And it will be seen as complementary to the uh, revolver gun firing the he ahead ammunition. A powerful complex like the Sky Ranger could protect an entire city all by itself. The only question is which complex will be sent to Ukraine. Even if they're the 2021 versions, those are still amazing modern weaponry that can coordinate with other systems. Um, target information will probably come from an external source, or a number of these vehicles could be coupled to a command post with, with a, a surveillance radar. I see the primary role of this particular vehicle is, is countering the threat of UAVs. Skynex can turn into a stationary command center with the push of a button receiving information from all surrounding radars, identifying targets, and transmitting commands to other equipment. For example, it can coordinate with the famous NASMs, which has already been successfully defending Ukrainian skies. This installation has long been considered the most powerful air defense system of modern times, and it lives up to its name. But what makes it so formidable? First of all, mobility. It can react to a threat in just 10 seconds, during which time it activates its projectiles. After firing a salvo from its six guns, it quickly disappears from the attack site to avoid return fire. The transition time from combat to traveling position is just one and a half minutes, which is practically a record at the moment. Another important aspect is that each part of the complex can be serviced and functioned separately. Basically, if half of the installation falls off during battle, the other half can keep fighting. As a nice bonus, the NASMs can be paired with other air defense systems so they can work together. This simple feature allows for conservation of ammunition as only the exact number of necessary projectiles will be fired at each target. The primary weapon of the NASMs is the AIM-120 AMRAAM missile, which travels at more than 3,200 feet per second. Well, the primary missiles used in NASMs would be AMRAAM and AIM-9X. Its effectiveness has already been proven hundreds of times in battle. However, even the AIM has one big drawback. It performs poorly against low-flying targets, plus using it against cheap drones is too expensive. That's why this complex works best in tandem with others, like Germany's Skynex. This combo provides cover to important assets and equipment from any threat, and the enemy will have to understand that Ukrainian skies must remain clear and safe. With that, our videos come to an end. Thanks for watching till the end. Don't forget you can support the channel by liking the video. It really motivates us to release more interesting content for you. Also, leave a comment sharing your opinion about what you've seen. We love to read them. Thanks again for watching and see you soon.